rejected. FOP Lodge 3 turning down a contract proposal that puts officers back on eight-hour shifts, provides a one-time $500 bonus, and allows for a 5% bump in pay over the next two years. Union officials declined to discuss what they didn't like about the offer, referring all questions to Fraternal Order of Police attorneys. The next step uh, is, and I'm hopeful of this, that we were able to get back with the city and uh, continue negotiations and try to come up with an agreement that both the city and the Fraternal Order of Police can live with. Mayor Catherine Pugh issuing a statement saying, I'm disappointed in the outcome of the vote but we will continue to work diligently to achieve a mutually acceptable memorandum of understanding with the Fraternal Order of Police. We honor our men and women in uniform and very much look forward to reaching a fair agreement. Some officers telling the 11 News I team there are at least two areas of concern, schedule changes and pay. Members now work four 10-hour shifts. The starting salary at $46,199 is comparable with surrounding jurisdictions. Union officials contend the department loses officers at the 10-year mark to areas where the pay is better. Negotiators could seek binding arbitration for a decision about money, but it's considered risky. Mediation is non-binding. The city proposal does not add civilians to police trial boards that hear misconduct cases. The issue could be decided by the General Assembly. I would hate the, to see that they carve out an exception in the law just for Baltimore City because it kind of makes us look like the stepchild of law enforcement. Back in 2014, then-Mayor Stephanie Rollins-Blake said the schedule change would help the department rein in overtime. It didn't. Reporting live from North Baltimore, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.